Hello, ladies and gentlemen. One game is dog here. I'm coming to you live from live and it's on video on demand from a hotel in Hammersmith where I've just been for the EA um, E3 play fucking thing. I'm actually going to put a hat on that because the light tends to reflect off my bald head, so that makes filming a little bit easier. Hello. So um, yeah, I've just come back from this E3 thing. Um, for this EA play thing that I had in London. I've, I've actually just come back from the download festival. I came back on a Sunday today, so we came back Sunday morning specifically because I had to go to this thing. And fuck me, was it a waste of my time apart from one thing. And it kind of sums up for me the whole event, EA as a whole, with regards to sort of the business and the games they're putting out. A lot of flashing lights, a lot of fucking buzzwords and promotion, and not a lot of actual gameplay around. Wonderful self-promoters. Just wish they could, you know, just fucking do some shit right for a change. Especially on day one releases. Anyway, we'll get to that. So, um, I'll, I'll start my rant about this, why this is a bit of a fucky A. Eh? Because I was sitting in this event, pissed off. And I think a lot of people were. I think there was a few of us that weren't, and there was a lot of just fucking cheering people just for the sake of cheering which really irritated me but we'll get to that so anyway the event started um, at the Hammersmith Apollo and it started at 8 o'clock it said doors open at 8 so I rocked up there about quarter to 8 and the doors were already open you just sort of go straight in so I was like sweet just went in and there was like a registration booth where you said your name and they ticked you off and it was like oh what game do you want to play and I was like well what do you mean what game well you only get to play one game I was like well what are the choices? So the choices were Timefall 2, Battlefield 1, FIFA 97, and uh, Madden 17. So personally, I want to play Madden 17, but professionally, I knew probably got to play Battlefield, um, which I still kind of want to play, but just I'm a big Madden fan, so I'd like to have played that to see the incremental increase in gameplay um, <laughs> that you get every fucking year. But I was like, all right, fine. So I picked Battlefield, and I sort of went, well, is there any chance of maybe playing another game or two? Because I kind of thought Madden in the UK, no one's going to be fucking, no one's queuing up playing Madden. And there was like, oh, we'll see how we get on for time, which kind of worried me a bit. Then I thought something was going on there. So the, you sort of, well, once we got through there, you come into the little bar reception kind of area. If you've ever been to the um, Hampshire for Apollo, you know what I'm talking about. It's like the bar at the front. And it was f free food and free drink, really good, like, like canapé appetizers. I actually didn't have any because I just had a roast in a palm stand at the moment. Um, but it was like really, it was posh, but sort of substantial kind of stuff, you know, canapés and that kind of stuff. Um, and it was free drink, it was like beer, wine, I think there was some shorts, soft drinks and that kind of stuff. And it was a well put on display by EA, which um, this is the second or third EA event I've been to. And you normally do find with EA events that they are uh, very well catered for, um, which is always a worrying sign for me. I kind of like, I, yeah, when I go to these kind of game events, I do like the ones where they kind of keep it bare minimum, just let me play the fucking game and maybe speak to a developer. That'd be really nice. I'm not really too bothered about free food and free drink. Um, I understand why you're doing it. You, you want me to have a good time to write nice things about the game, but unfortunately, no, because it kind of sums up EA that there was just a lot of fluff and filler and buzzwords and time wasting and very, very little fucking gameplay. So, what happened? Um, so, eventually, it's like. The, the doors to get into the theatre didn't open until about half eight. So there's like a group of us like standing around by the door ready to go in. And the guys go in like, um, at one point one of the security guards or ushers, I can't remember what he was, comes up and goes like, hey, you guys know there's like loads of free food and drink here. Just blank faces like, just let us in the fucking door. It's eight o'clock on the Sunday night in Hammersmith. We were told, it's called EA Play. And there's this whole thing about, we're for the players and it's about playing games. Well, the, the event wasn't about playing games. The event was fucking standing around, waiting and listening for fucking ages. Um, I mean, I may just got back to the hotel now. It's like 11 o'clock, something like that. Well, actually, no, I got back to 11 o'clock, so the pub, because this is a pub hotel, I'm at court to 11, because I managed to get in for last orders. Um, so we could, we get finally at 8.30, they like, let us in, and you're in the theatre, and the, my, my spider sense was tingling to go sit near an aisle, because I get the feeling what's going to happen here is that it's going to be a mad rush, because as you've sort of gone in to the theatre, you passed all the stalls and all the um, setups they had for Battlefield 1, Titanfall, Titanfall 2, um, FIFA 97, and Madden 17, so they're there, and we kind of all thought, well, we were going to play it, a lot of people lost it, 
It was like, no, no, sit down in the theatre because we're doing the dual live screen with LA, where the E3 ones are at the moment. And it was just such a fucking waste of time. I was sitting there thinking to myself, you know what, I could have been sat in my hotel room right now, just writing up, um, writing about the press, con press, pre uh, press conference. And the thing was as well that really annoyed me is that um, I don't like being at press conferences where people are cheering. That's worrying. Because it's kind of like, you, you, you know, you're, you're supposed to be a representative of the press, you're supposed to be a journalist, you're supposed to, I mean, I'm studying my journalism at the moment, you're supposed to have some sort of sense of ethics and morals and criticism. And there was a lot of just fanboying in the audience. I was like, a fucking shitload of fanboying. Um, which, which really wound me up because, um, like I say, you shouldn't be encouraging me. And even when the guy came out um, before the stream started, he was like, you know, you guys were in England, we've got to cheer louder than anyone. You know, cheer louder than the Americans. And, you know, trying to wild us up. And some people are doing it. And I was, I literally, I did not applaud throughout the whole event. Not because I'm a miserable bastard. And part of it was because I've had a long fucking day and I've been sleeping in a tent for the last two nights. But it was just kind of like, just show the fucking games. Just let me play the game. I've come here for a reason. I need to stop shaking because that camera's shaking. I'm currently balancing the camera on top of the teacup and this is the third time now that I've had to record this. Excuse me, last orders. So, um, the press conference starts and you know, they talk about how it's the first time we've ever done this um, sort of dual stream kind of thing. Um, because, you know, someone went, hey, we're doing the one in LA. Why not do two? And it was like, yeah, why not do that? And no one actually answered the question going, why? Why do it? it there was no need to do this double live stream. There was only one reason why I think they'd done it. Um, but there was no need for it. No need whatsoever. You could have done everything in LA, apart from one little thing, which we'll get to. Um, there, there was just no need for it. I could have been sat. I mean, as soon as it started, I was texting my wife and I was just like, I could be in my hotel room right now sitting there watching the press conference and just writing up a story, like as opposed to sitting there waiting. Um, so the press conference starts and it's all fucking hype and buzzwords. And the way I'd kind of sign, um, sum up this conference for me eight is um, let's copy what everyone else has been doing for the last two years. It was kind of where they were going for that. You can see who they're ripping off straight the fuck away. I think I've got a little bit of water in. Um, there was some originality, so the first, and there was some nice stuff. So the first one was about Titanfall 2. I never probably take Titanfall because I'm going to Xbox. Um, but, you know, the, I think the, the problem with Titanfall was, um, or the problem from Titanfall maybe now, is that because a lot of the gameplay mechanics they had, such as like the wall running and stuff like that, it was quite unique when they'd done it and now, you know, Call of Duty's kind of taken that for their own. Um, so there wasn't. You know, it wasn't too much there, so they showed off a bit of the footage. And I'm, I don't like watching gameplay trailers. I really try not to watch them, um, and I try to stay away from them as much as possible. Because the problem is with them, is that they're you know pre-rendered. If they are running, they're running on the best PCs known to bloody man, and um, they're heavily cut to give an emotional fit. I mean, they're like movie trailers, but I think the difference is with a movie trailer as opposed to a game trailer, is how you consume the media. So and this is a bit of a tangent, but you know, if you look at um, a films, films are quite a passive um, activity to watch. You sit there, you watch it, it's very linear. You know, someone has complete control of the tone and the mood, that being the director, producer, and the editors. And they're, this is, they're like, you know, this is what how we want the emotion to um, play out, and we want you to feel certain things at these key points. You're not always gonna, because everyone's different, but majority are. And it always annoys me when they do that with games, because it's kind of like, there is no guarantee that I'm going to feel that level of all that I'm getting from the trailer because the games are a non-linear experience. Everyone plays them completely differently. You know, the little minor, you know, degree movements that you can make with your analog stick.